so welcome to the behind the scenes we've hit 2,000 subscribers which is amazing and we're filming uh, two 2,000 pound coin hunts so we've got a two pound 2,000 pounds worth of two pounds and 2,000 pounds worth of 50 pences just to kind of celebrate getting the 2,000 subscribers um, we're going to do the two pounds first and then I think we'll probably end up depends how long it takes us But this video might go into two so don't get confused because I need to do the intro for the 50 pences first So I've got that film because they it's a slightly different uh, angle I've already spent about two hours setting everything up, but um, but anyway, so I'm going to film the intro for the 50p then set film the intro for the two pound So the bit before that the titles and then get set up and they're going to do the two pound hunt So this might just be the two pound behind the scenes two thousand pounds worth of two pounds or depending how far we get, we might do the whole thing on one on one episode as well. Of course, the the episodes themselves will be two completely two completely different ones. Right, <coughs> off we go. I think I've got everything ready to go. <coughs> well, we've hit two thousand subscribers. What? So. <laughs> Poochington oh, is. We banished him, but he uh, he's found a sneaky way. He's gone out the dog flap and <laughs> round the other side, so we're gonna probably have to listen to him whine as well. <laughs> <coughs> right, start again. Well, we've hit two thousand subscribers. Thank you very much to everybody who subscribed. Hopefully, you've entered the giveaway video. But to celebrate, we're going to do a two thousand pound fifty p coin hunt. So if this doesn't fill our book. Probably nothing, uh, nothing will. Eight bags, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including a couple that we had from Trev from Coins to Collect, mainly from the bank, one from the the post box, post box, one from the one from the post office. Can't wait to get stuck into it. So let's go. Do 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 do. Right. So that's the intro done. So I'll move it out of the way for the minute. Come out the way. Oh, the fully professional setup on bundle collects. <laughs> it's amazing what I can edit out. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I think we're ready to go. <clears throat> you might just want to wait for Harry to finish. <laughs> Licking. Yeah, I'll put him back out. He's only he's only next to the other side. Right, go on, out. Go on. Good boy. See if he's clever enough to come all the way around again. <coughs> we'll have to see. Lost interest now. <coughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So we've hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribed to us. Hopefully you've gone and joined, uh, no. <clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So we've hit 2,000 subscribers and hopefully everyone who subscribed has gone over and it, uh, entered our giveaway. No. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So we've hit 2,000 subscribers. Absolutely fantastic. Hopefully those of you that have, uh, Right, start again. <laughs> I've bottled it. And now 
press something weird on the phone. <laughs> That's done. If in doubt, turn it back on and off again. <coughs> the only way around again. He is as well as me. <laughs> Harry, go away. No, go on. Buzz off. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So we've hit 2,000 subscribers. So to celebrate, we've got a 2,000 pound, two pound coin hunt for you. So let's get into it. Keep it simple, keep it. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about then. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Right, so that's the intro's done. Do you okay to just move them bags just to one side for me? Off the tip, are we doing no. these first? Yeah, we're doing these first. I assume that's okay with you because you like to do that. Um, yeah. Prefer the 50 piece, right? Not much at all. Is that your hair or mine? Depends on the lens. How are we looking? That would be yours. Are you okay? Just slack an hour if I get from you, please. I've gone too low. Out there, why not? Looks a lot higher than usual. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Mm. It shouldn't be, though. No, oh, maybe it is, because I would normally only need to go to the to the marks, wouldn't I, the, the what you call it, the end of where the 50p things are. <coughs> He's gonna have to do it. Don't know how gonna work with the 50p one. It's not gonna work at all. That won't be too. It will be too high. So they, they need to be in the screen. Yeah, but normally we can see too. No, normally the, the 50 oh. piece stop there, the pictures on the mat are only that. So because I've gone one either side of it, I've had to go high to fit them in. Sure. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's where I'm going with. Because unless I'm just. Oh, hang on. Oh, we zoomed in. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done. What's so. up? Roger that. Well then. Well done. Yeah, I must have zoomed in to get that, <laughs> that intro shot. Let's check it out and cover the camera with the. <coughs> Be quiet. You're not going to just sit there and whine, are you? You've been fed, you've been out. Yeah, I know we've been away, haven't we? Been to London. Yeah, we haven't seen you for a few days. Yeah, <laughs> you have to be a good boy, you have to be quiet. Yeah, do you want to come and say hello? Has anyone, does anyone know what's a Poochington looks like? We haven't, oh, we've won a couple of the video with him in yet. No, we, we haven't. Right, come here, come here then. Come here. There Hello? is Sir Poochington. He stinks. He absolutely reeks. He does. He does. No, he does no, he really does. He doesn't. God, is that it? He's a good boy, aren't he? Huh? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Right. Get down then. Right, go on. Right, go. right you're going to have to go out because he's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. Ah! Out. No. Out. Right, go on. Ah! Yeah, can you keep him entertained, Bobby Bell, please? Or at least stop him from being the ultimate poochie. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. 
Okay, so stacking them on top of. <coughs> no, no spoilers. <coughs> you need to tell them. <coughs> or am I, I going to find out with everybody else? You're going to find out with everybody else. I see. And then hopefully I've explained it okay. Because if you, if you ask, if I, if I, I like doing that because if you don't, then understand you'll ask the question because someone else won't understand oh. if I haven't explained myself properly. <coughs> we'll just go live with it. Oh, I can't clear my throat. <coughs> <coughs> right, so we're doing something a little bit different for this £2,000 hunt. We want to fill our albums, of course, so I still need Wales and uh, Navy, Centenary, Navy Centenary with a flag error. Ellie needs the same and the Navy Centenary and Rio handover, I think. So we still want to fill our albums, but we're doing something a bit different. So we've got £2,000, it's four full bags, all sealed. What I want us to do is, as we find the finds, I want to put them on the on the picture of these. This is all a commemorative £2 coins, including the 2015 and 2016 Britannias. And they're in mintage order. So other than the Northern Ireland, which didn't quite, I needed it to be nice and straight, and Northern Ireland didn't fit in, so I put that down there as the plum find. But everything else is in is in mintage order. So I'm interested to see, with £2,000 worth, two are from down south, two are from up north, uh, three, they're all from the bank, albeit two different banks and three different branches. I want to see if the scarcity, or the, the mintage figures, in any way matches. So in, in theory, we should get this stack of St. Paul should be massive, and our our um, Commonwealth Games will be small, so I'm interested to see whether the bottom row gets really really full. Does that make any sense? Uh, yeah, well, it took me about two hours to prepare for the video, and I printed them out, and I didn't have a t another Britannia oh, for right, 2016. Okay. That, that's what was confusing me. So yeah, I just used that one and wrote across it. It's okay. not very professional, no, but um, that's what that's it is. So it's got the so technically this one is the Northern Ireland at 485,500. Should be up there. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, it wasn't quite square on separate down oh. there. But everything else, so that's Wales all the way along like this. Okay, down to, to the highest commemorative, which is St. Paul's at over 10 million. So yeah, I was just interested to see whether, right. to, see, to see how it panned out. Okay. Now we need to leave, we got this one is from Trey. So we swapped, we swapped this when we went down to London filming our A to Z adventures. So this is the Camberley Coin Centre dated June, so there's definitely some Navy centenaries in here. So this is the same batch that Christopher's been. Uh, they, 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 they have different banks in different parts of the country, but they come mm -hmm. from the same cash centre. So it's it's nailed on, there's Navy centenaries in here, and I know there's at least one, because Trev sent me a picture of one, so he's at, mm. well, unless he was winding me up, of course. <laughs> so this is one's last, because this might skew if our little experiment, because if all the 2016, 2015 navies and or 16 Great Fire Londons are coming out, it'll skew if our little experiment. I'm going to do that last. Okay. If that makes any sense. So we've got that bag from Trev. We've got this bag from Total Coins. Again, he came down with us on our A to Z adventures in London. So I swapped that, a bag with him. And then these two bags we've got today. And these are RBS Hay Dock and they're both dated the 3rd of July 2020. So the recent bags sealed inside. It's definitely enough stuff for Navy Centenaries, from what I can see anyway. What time have you got on that one? Uh, 10.32. All right, well, we'll start with that one then. This one doing the over. 10.35. Right, so, oh, and we're also just, uh, we're also this way, we're filming behind the scenes as well, so if you want to know how we set this video up, how it's kind of going, what goes on behind the scenes, mm. then this video is going to upload probably on a Monday, I think, I'm not sure where it'll be, £2 Mondays. Oh no, actually, oh, I've done it the wrong way around again, haven't I? Started doing 50p's on a Monday and, and £2 Fridays. But anyway, this video will upload first. <laughs> then the 50p, so we're going to do £2,000 worth of 50p's as well. And now we're kind of little, you know, um, celebrating our um, hitting 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Anyone who has an end our giveaway, go over and enter our giveaway video. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button and comment on that on that video. Um, so it'll be this one, then the 50p one. And then a few days after that, I'll upload the behind the scenes uh, video. Uh, mind you, that's only if it's all if behind the scenes, all one big video. I will. If it's not, if I've had to split it into two, I'll probably upload it twice. I'll just shut up, lady. I'm looking at me as if to say, You're shut waffling. Up. I am waffling. Right. Behind the scenes camera, I'll probably just edit all that out. So <laughs> we'll, we're opening this one first. So we're gonna, we, we don't want to destroy what we've, we've made, do we? No. So I have to be careful how we tip them out. You just have to put them to one side. You're not going to be able to put them in view. Yeah. Anyway, so we can probably 
a few mm. around the outside. Oh, I'm having that one. I can see a Britannia is under under uh, abolition of the slave trade. So we still want to fill our books. We I'm going to show the books. I know I've waffled on loads, but anyone who's watching this must be a hardcore fan. So this is my book. I'm trying to find every commemorative two pound coin with the writing around the outside upside down. I need whales, and please, 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 I want to get whales today. And then I'm going to consider my book full. And I also need the Navy Centenary, and I'm not too bothered. If I get whales before that, I'm considering it full. Although I'm hoping that I will get the Navy Centenary with a flag error because of Trev's bag. Possibly even uh, total coins is being found in them as well. So mm -hmm. it, you know, I think we've got a good chance of getting that. And the um got everything apart from that, and also in this book I, I keep the uh, any fakes or unusual ones. Uh, oh, I kept some sh comedies and histories and tragedies and Shakespeare because they look cool. And I've also pinched Lady M's territories because we're giving her book away as part of the uh, two thousand subscriber giveaway. So I've took them out of there. Um, and this is Ellie, so she needs Wales. Rio, isn't it? Rio handover, Navy Centenary, and a Centenary with a flag error, and the right around the outside is upside down. And this is the the book that we're giving away on the giveaway. So if we find any super shiny ones, we'll switch some of these out. So Lady M, she's got, a, I think that's a proof coin from 1997. She's been keeping the best condition coin she can right the way through to 2016. And it's also got all our fakes in here as well. So that's part of the giveaway prize. As well as we've, we've threw a page in of um, mixed 50Ps, so territories, an L and an M and a B Benjamin Bunny, uh, a Brexit from an uncirculated bag, and, uh, and a two two A to Z letters as well. So hey ho, there we go. Right, so we've actually got to start. This has been this is probably the longest ever view without actually seeing a a coin. Is it is a little rip bags in? No. Ah, good old northeast. Full of seam. Rock hard. Oh, done it. All right, I'll have to tell me about that next time. Okay. I thought they were just rock hard northeast bags. So this is a lovely shiny 2016 Britannia. This is, uh, no, it's two, I, was, I don't know if it's 2016. I'm, I'm assuming it will because it's so shiny. And it's not, it's 2015. And Lady M, that is a hell of a start. Feel how, feel how rough them, them, them engines are. Oh yeah, yeah. So that has not been sharp. in circulation very long. It has, it has got that horrible, look, it's got that horrible black stuff around, look. If you zoom in a little yeah, bit. Man's a total boss. Look, it's got that horrible, this like black ring that comes around, it's like a burn mark. It's Dirty, like, grubby. The th there we go. The theory is it happened. It happens during the minting prog progress process. There's some kind of grimy something that gets burned under the coin, mm -hmm. and apparently it can't come off. I've never okay. tried. Right, 2015. Okay. So, that so should I should I do that? Yeah. I think that'll work. One, it's six hundred fifty thousand. Okay, right. Look. Just pull it like that. All right. Okay. Fair enough. And there's it. 1887 abolition of the slave trade so we expect to find a lot of these because there are lo loads that were minted 8,445,000 so I'm expecting that pile to be pretty high I know I've waffled on there but I think anybody anyone who's going to watch a £2,000 coin hunt is prepared to dig in at me for the, for the afternoon to watch it all I, I don't know how to tear it Pull, pull, oh, so you're having a bag of rice or something? Oh, my thumb's down. I'm cleaning the thumb. Right, pull it downwards. No, I can't do that. I'm just going to have to tear them like oh. a rock hard northeast guy that I am. She's there to put the seam on this one. Stuck down. Feel free to slow down, maybe so you know. Well, I haven't found anything yet. It's all right. Go. Oops. It's a bonus. So that's my first find. So that is Brunel Portrait from 2006. I'm going to pop that on there. Eight. 
toad. Me? Mm. Uh, yeah, a little bit. We were up early, we travelled back from London today, behind the scenes camera. So it was a four or five hour journey, I suppose, by the time. We five hours, wasn't it, by the, from door to door. Yeah. And then we had to go and get our coins from two different banks. And then it took me ages to get kind of unpacked and set up. been a long day and I'm wasting time on the clean my nails. Yes. I should have been more prepared. Prior preparation prevents poor performance, the five P's. Glad you're finding out like <laughs> obviously they're waiting for me. The, the big finds. We don't normally have this bigger tub either. Normally have these two little like Chinese takeaway tubs. But because we're doing such a big hunt, we've got the big bowls. I just maybe want Chinese. <laughs> it's okay, we could do that. Depends how long it takes us to film this hunt, I think. Yeah, or whether we do the fifty sure. P straight after or not. I'm not sure where it's open either. Why wouldn't anywhere be open? I'm not sure where it is open. I don't know. Do I think it's 2010 for your double die of their sellers? And there's the first of probably many, I assume, St. Paul's highest mintage commemorative 50p. No. <laughs> Two pound. <laughs> 10 million 100. And 91,000, so I'm expecting that stack to be massive. And there's the two Brunels right after one another. Okay, and the arch is there. I'm sure we'll find plenty of them as well. Yeah, that's the second. Portrait, and that's the first Archie. Oh, I've got a 1999. I've, been, I've probably mentioned this before, but anyone who doesn't know, that's the 1999 rugby, and that's the reason why the 1999 Technologies is not in the annual set for that year. So if uh, people want something for their date run, you have to get out, get it out of circulation. So if you, if you have a good condition 1999 out of circulation, you can get a few quid off eBay, probably get up to a tenner for it, because, uh, like I say, you can't get a... You can't get a bunk or a proof version of it. So there's the Guy Fox coin. And rugby, I expect to see loads of these as well. There we go, 4,933,000. Pigeons are enjoying the hunt anyway. Yeah. It's gonna try it. sounds very close. Ooh, got a commemorative, got a commemorative. Oh, I don't want that bad. Oh, in fact, I've got two, three commemoratives in this one. Mm. So it's our first comedies, and we were getting plagued by these. We've had 50 or 60 or 70 of these over the coming months, over the last few months. 4,355,000 of them, and there's a histories in here as well. Oh, and also some kind of cabbage or um, leafage. Interesting. And there's histories. These are just beginning to play us now. These are coming into circulation. Again, the, the theory is that the, the 2015s and 16s have been sat in cash centres or st sat in storage at the mint because they haven't been needed, and now, now they are, so they're beginning to come out into circulation. 5,655,000 of the histories and there's another abolition of the slave trade second one looked at this could be our opportunity to find an nifc as well the one with the smooth finish and the artist yeah. initials on there's a robert burns there's another brunel arches to reach on the mini sets of brunels Mm 
Activeonian, or Active Onions, as Caledonian coins called it. So celebrating 300 years of the union between England and Scotland. Got the Tudor rose on and the Scottish thistle. Which way around is it? Uh, it's that way. I think that's the right way up. Nope, exactly wrong. That's the right <laughs> way up. Expect to see loads of these, 7,545,000. Mm -hmm. Are you keeping it to yourself? Mm, it's just Ooh, got it's a, about to pop out. I've got a lovely find coming up. Oh yeah, is it fake? Don't think it just so. Been, it just been hammered. Do you want to have zoom in? Do you want to show everybody? This looks pretty rough. Looks. Trying to get the perspective to see the, because it does look as though that middle's about to pop out. That's yeah, okay. it's like a. There's a lip yeah, there, look. Fair. You can almost it as if you could put your yeah. finger in and. I wonder if it's been kind of been underneath something. Yeah. Or something's pressed on it from that side. Possibly. Is it definitely real? Let's have a look at the portrait. Yeah, it looks pretty real, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's real, that one. Mm. Right. Anyway, might What have you got? Might as well keep zooming in because there's a lovely find coming here. It'll be a lowest vintage so far. If we're, if we're gonna find one of these, we always find this one rather than the roundel. The underground train. Cause I like the roundel because it's got mind the gap around the outside. That's what it says on the announcement when you get on and off the tube. But that is the that is the tube line. On there, so that's a pretty cool coin. So our best that'll be our best one so far, or well, I suppose other than the the Britannia. One million six hundred and ninety thousand. If that was a fifty P it'd be worth well, it's probably worth about four quid as it stands now, top end. As a 50p with that kind of comparative mintage, it'd be worth mm. a lot more than that, I think. Did you zoom back out? I did. Oops. I wish they could put the puff slips in. I don't want to complain too much. It's just nice to be able to. <laughs> this will be a commemorative. It's the kitchen. Again, I'm sure we'll find loads of these. Five million seven hundred and twenty thousand Lord Kitcheners, or him out of Blackadder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he says darling, doesn't he? he? Calls the other guy darling. Mm -hmm. What's I can't is it not Flashyard? That was written there. What was he called again? What's his name or darling? No, darling's his mate. Because he goes, oh hello darling, or pass it away, you darling. He's talking to his talking to the, the guy yeah, who's no, under his kid. Yeah, no, his friend's name, yeah. Yeah. What you called him that? Yeah, no. Oh. So what's the name of the Stephen Stephen Fry's character? I can't remember. Anyway, Golden Guinea. So under three million of these, isn't it? Where is where's the Golden Guinea? Yeah, two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Uh, no, not the name. Abolition of slave trade. Number three. Okay, folks. This is why you shouldn't pay a fortune for per member either. I do call, I think it is an error. I think it's a weak strike where it's got a P instead of a R. So there look that looks like a November, it looks like a P instead of an R. That's a decent one, that R. That one. A little bit of a kick. But I think I, I do think they are errors, but this shows how common they are. We've already found two. Five million one hundred and forty thousand five hundred. DNA double helix. I'll tell you what, our, we're not doing too well for our end, Lady M. Mm. I think the southern bags are going to be way better than this when they finished. Nothing significant to write home about. Nope. There's another per member coin. It says per member. Yeah, it does. There's another Robert Burns. Another actor union. Abolition of slave trade. 
Can you go left? Watch the other side, like. It's absolutely fine. No, no. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Put it in the comments. Oh, there is a wireless communications, the Marconi. Where is the Marconi? There it is, 4,558,000. So it's kind of going true to form, I think. So we've got there's certainly more on the bottom row and the second row than anywhere else. We've only got one low mintage one in that Britannia. The, this is a bit of an anomaly. We don't find many Tron helmets, do we? No. So I think I either think that mintage figure of 9,550,000 will either be revised down, because they did revise down the... Um, I'm boring lady, I'm just yawning. She does it all the time. Uh, they did revise down the figure of the Great Fire of London from 5 million to 1.6 million. So I think they're either going to revise that down and, and they don't act because they, they might have minted this many but they have not been released into circulation or it's a regional thing and they just don't come. They just don't come up north or in the north because we hardly find any considering it's the second highest minted commemorative. So we're kind of on point no Charles Dickens which is which is unusual. But uh, yeah, so that's a pretty... I mean, I've been happy from a plum fine point of view. I'd have been happy with the Britannia and the... Um, underground train, don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. kind of open these northern bags to be better than the southern bags. But let's see, right? right. Yeah. Northern bag number two. This one's a little bit younger, isn't it? The younger, the younger brother of the first bag. Let's hope these stole all the, all the Commonwealth games. Oops. Bag two, five hundred pound down. It's quite a good condition, nineteen ninety nine. We're all saying about the nineteen ninety nine. Mhm. Mm I like that one. Just keep that to one side for a minute. Let's see if that's better than the one in the album. Trev is terrific. Oh, and I have got a terrific coin coming up. So 2016 Great Fire London. Love this coin. Designed by the same person that designed the Isaac Newton, Aaron West. So his initials at the bottom there. A little AW down there. Love this coin. Hardly ever see it. Theory is they're coming out of the cash centres with the other 2016 coins. Hope this is a sign of things to come, Lady M. Mm. And it's going to be is it a top row find. No, not quite. Halfway down the second row, 1,625,000. Oh, it's got a It's the JC portrait that uh, gives it away. It's a 2015 or 16 coin. Nice. 
Tragedies. Skulls. We find very few yeah. skulls. I bet that's only one of... Oh, we've certainly found less than five, haven't we? Yeah. Like What's the miniature figures there? 4,615,000. So considering there's that many again in circulation, we hardly find any. Yeah. So I'm all down for the regional thing. Yeah. Certainly find them down south and we get the comedies. And lastly, the histories. I think there's another actor union. Mm -hmm. Still no Tron helmet or Charles Dickens, unusual. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Three million seven hundred and five thousand. Show out the bag. <laughs> We're clear. I don't think we've come across any fake shit either. No. Nothing stuck out. Oh, there's that first Charles Dickens. Just mentioned a while ago, I hadn't found one. The cracking coin that with it with his face and then all these books in the middle makes up his face. Super that one. So eight million one hundred and ninety thousand. So that will I can guarantee that will not be the last one of them we find. completely the Shakespeare oh, yeah. triple I yeah. think that's I think I've nicked that off Darren well I've, I've definitely nicked it off Darren and I think that's what he called it you get all three the Shakespeare triple we would call it the mini set that sounds like a cocktail <laughs> yeah Come on, Northern Banks. <laughs> Show them Southerners where it's at. Let's pull a Commonwealth out. Hopefully a whale. St Paul's. Bust bag, lady. Absolute bust bag. It's no good. I'm calling for the power of the North East. <laughs> and the... Uh, and I get a bus. Tell you, we've been spoilt with the two thousand pound hunt like aren't we? Yeah. And we just do a five hundred pound bag. It'll uh, <laughs> it'll feel well. I don't know what it'll feel like. Short. Short, yeah. <laughs> oh, bust, bust rama. St. Paul's. Oh. Abolition of the slave trade is winning. And I reckon that by the end, St. Paul's will be winning. Maybe through our second bag. Won't be like this for 50 pieces. We'll be sick to death for 50 pieces by the time we get through eight bags. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I forgot to turn the screen down on that camera so that it lasts. Shall I do that now? Okay. After Union. Doing quite well for them as well. Mm. because the brightness was on full. Okay. Oh no. And the front holes. It might not last the full duration of the 50 Ps. Can we not? Oh no, I can't put it in, can we? No, because the microphone's in, yeah. yeah. Oh my last bag's a bust. Front poles. Right, a thousand pound in, halfway through, and we're still plenty on the bottom shelves, nothing on the top shelf. Plum find of that last bag, definitely the Great Fire London. Sorry guys. Right, what's next? <clears throat> right, so we'll do um, Stu's bag, because yeah, I know there's Definitely a Navy Centini in the other one. I just compare his little bag. Look, 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 look how small his bag is, you maybe just can't tell. But compared to... I don't know, different. No, it is compared to Trev's bag, look. Oh, you folded it over. Yeah, no, it's really very really little. Okay. Clearly though, it's not the size. So I've never had a, 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 a Voltex bag before. First time. Well, certainly, if I have had a Voltex bag, certainly I haven't had one. I don't know. Sneaky look, can't see out, can't see out. Ooh, the bags are thinner as well. Ooh, I'll have that one. I will have this one. Okay. Little sneaky look has taught me that there's a Magna Carta in. Ooh, these are, these are thinner, aren't they? Yeah. These are much thinner. Do you want to go over them? Yeah, probably have to be rock hard in the northeast just to open coin bags. So, a lovely 2015 in great condition. You can get one. It's got the IRB portrait on there rather than GSC. If you do get one of them, you've got, you've got a few quid on your hands because they're the ones that were in the commemorative packs, the bunk packs. Nice condition Magna Carta, that though. It's a second second row find, 1,495,000. The best commemorative we've found so far. Or the lowest mintage. The best, I think, is subjective. Depends on your favourite. Oh, look at that. Another Robert Burns. I assume oh, that yeah. will be. Oh, yeah, popped out that yeah, one. Has, yeah. Bit of the damage to this one. Might as well back in the coin machine. But there, look, you see there's a, there's a rim here. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's bent. And there, look, it's popping out. Some of that is all popping out. Now, it hasn't rotated. But yeah, or it's been under a pool table or something like that, used to wedge wedge something open or level something off. But yeah, first time I've seen that. Marconi. Oh, I've got a Marconi as well. Double Marconi. Where is he? Oh yeah. On well, the first few bags, I've got slips in these. No. No. Well, the first few bags have boarded better, I think, with a Magna Carta and some other commemoratives in. Charles Dickens. Let's have a little, let's do a little edge hunt. Oh no. Oh. Stout. 
standing on. It's just a really shiny standing yeah, on the shoulders of giants. Nice. For some reason, I thought it, I thought I saw shield, as in the shield of Britain. I think it is. So shoulders. That second one in from the right. Yeah, that's got shoulders of giants on. Giants, giants, giants. It's a bust. Oh, that, that that shiny one. You can guarantee. Oops. Guarantee it'll be a 2015. Mm. They are definitely shinier than the rest. And I think some of them might be cash centers. The one I've seen, Trev, coins to collect Trev, find quite a few of them recently, along with the other lower mintage coins of that year. So again, they could have also been held back. Nightingale, this is the mm -hmm. first one I found there. No, you've got one. Six million one hundred and seventy five thousand. Yes, there, why, are they, why are they not maybe centenaries? Because, mm -hmm. of course, to that same year, 2015. Mm -hmm. That's a centenaries. Oh, struggling with this one. The behind the scenes camera is going to get a few faces, of, oh, a few <laughs> funny faces of me gurning, trying to open bags without slits in. You've got it sorted though, haven't you, with your strong thingy idea? Well, no, I'm not doing oh, that. Oh, did you just, just tear, tear them? them? There's another rugby. And another guy, folks. Charles Darwin, our oh, first one, yep, three million nine hundred and three thousand. JC coming up, Lady M. Come on, let's be the Navy. Come on, in the Navy, <laughs> we can get a great fire in London, that'll do. I suppose you can shave, shave, you can sail a Navy ship down the Thames, which is on that coin. So, yeah, please with that one. In the Navy. Centenary. Sign, lady, it's a good sign. The Great Fire London's. There is another guy, Fox. To bust. Bruno Arches. I 
any ones in here. And there's our first Tron helmets. So we didn't find one in the northeast bags, but we have in the southern bags. 2016, 9,550,000 and our first one. Come on, Navy Centenaries. Come on, Pepe. Cool, old man and the animal. Almost £2,000 on the front. Uh, £2,000 on the front. Woo, two pounds. Let me just get rid of this uh, old man and bungle. <laughs> it's a JC portrait. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a Navy. Get in there. Woo. Right. Does it have a flag error? No, it doesn't. Down a buzz. Let's hope. Oh. Let's hope that the writing around the outside is upside down. Otherwise, this is going to Ellie's book and she is going to get closer to filling. Which way do I flip it? You need to go that way so we can see it. That's it. And then just turn it towards me. And if the writing is upside down, oh, it's not. It's the right way up. It's going in Ellie's book. Understand. The Shua Shield of Britain. Wow. Well done, Ellie. Superb. Here, we'll stick it. Let's stick it. Let's get it in the... Oh, do we... Yeah, we're gonna have to move, but it won't it won't fit with my experiment, will it? No, we'll have to no, leave, leave it for it the minute. For the have to leave it there for the minute. It's only about the third navy we ever found, isn't it? I trust you to find it. Oops, hmm. I forgot to zoom out, lady. I forgot to yeah. zoom out. Uh, I'm on the last bag, so big thanks to Total Coins for swapping with us. And if you haven't heard of Total Coins, do go over to his channel. See if you like what he does, I'm sure you will. And subscribe and watch some of his videos. He's one of our mates. Right, so Plum Find is definitely the Navy Centenary. And we got a great fire in London and a Magna Card, didn't we? Out of that yeah, bag. That's a good one. So well done there, uh, Stu. Your bag is definitely better than our two put together. Right, this is Trev's bag, so we know there's at least one Navy Centenary in here. Let me just wrote Bungle on there, look for me. Because uh, he got he got a couple of bags I think at once from the bank and then he picked one or I picked I, I, oh yeah that's right I picked the one with seventeen in the time so yeah that's why he's wrote my name on it there's one yeah 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 lady M who tears in as well oh this is the, look at that this the Camberley Centre is the absolute bees knees when it comes to I'll just flip it over there so I can tease it a little bit. Is the bees knees of uh, of bags and Sir Pucci joins the bung it joins us in the bungle collection magic studio. Right, come on, has it got a flag error error? No it doesn't. So it doesn't matter whether it's upside down or not because now Ellie and I have both got one. Stunning coin worth four pounds, six hundred and fifty thousand, really, really undervalued in my in my view. So there's the first one. Come on, I really want to find one with a flag error, Lady M. Upside down one as well. Doing a double helix. Bus. Oh, that's a shiny one. Mm, one of the bags, I wonder whether, whether it was the bag I didn't pick. I've seen Trev must have found 20 odd, maybe centenary. He counted them once. I think he got 16 in one hunt. Mm. No, they're not coming all the way. No. Poochie takes resident under the desk at my feet. Oh, there's the old man in the bungle. Charles Dickens. Guy Fox. And we've got we're on to a oh a triple and then a quadruple. There's another Tron helmet, shoulder to shoulder, first World War Centenary. Again, proving the theory that uh, that they, they are down south and not up north. 
And there is a uh, Trev is terrific kind. <laughs> the locomotive. Richard Trevithic. Where is he? Uh, where did he go? There we go. Oh, we've also completed the bottom two rows, maybe. Oh, yeah. We've got two full rows. We still need a 2016 Britannia London Underground and a Mary Rose to complete the second row. Time is running out. Right now, so it will not be a commemorative, it will be a shiny IRB portrait 2015. I think I've just spotted one in this bag to Ooh. go on that second row. Ooh, different. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. The There's the abolition of the slave trade. Oh, nice. Again, that's my theory that these don't turn up up north because we only find the the, uh, the train. Mm -hmm. So the roundel, one million five hundred sixty thousand. The underground roundel, nice. Yeah. Man, the gap. Oh, are we going to do it? Mary Rose and the two thousand sixteen Britannia, lady. Mm -hmm. Complete three out of the four rows. <laughs> no fake shit either. No. Although I must admit, I haven't been taking that much notice. Oh, there's another. Trev is terrific. It would have to be a pretty bad fake for me to notice it, I think. It'd have to really stick out. And a bust. This is looking grim, Lady M. The worst condition abolition of the slave trade. Oh, Dirty. Nasty. Grotty. Grotty. Grotty, that's the word that Trev uses, isn't it? Yeah. There's another one. There's a uh, old man in a bungle. And another abolition of the slave trade, it's winning. Double St. Paul's. Obviously heard the call that's yeah, it's not been outdone. Oh. Yeah, Trev was winning. Last two bags. Charles Dickens, maybe the late take a late flurry. Oops. Oops. I think it's too late for Charles Dickens to win. Yeah. I think I'm the edges. It's not looking good. Oh no, I've missed one. There we go. So Charles Dickens. Last bag luck. Nope, that's it for me. Oh, and me. And me. Nice. Now, that is a real shame. Grubby coins. Let's get that uh, let's get that navy in the book for Ellie Lady M. Yeah. She can have either or they're both uh, writing is the is the right way up. So if Lady M sticks that in, 
right, so what have we got? So the what was the most common find? That was a draw between St. Paul's and the abolition of the slave trade. So it's no surprise that, that the three highest out of the three highest mintage, the coins two are the ones that we found two stacks that are higher. So that's pretty not on on oh, I know what I mean. So yeah, and if you can look as a general theme, yeah, the thin the thin out a bit. So it's it's it basically goes with the pretty much with the mintage figures, give or take. Shame we couldn't have filled the top draw. Shows Mary Rose as well. I mean, you know, yeah. two thousand pounds worth and no no Mary Rose. Unbelievable. So if you like coin hunts, you like two pounds and you like fifty pences, then you'll see you'll definitely see some links to some of our other videos. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and do have a look out specifically for that fifty pound fifty p coin hunt because it's two thousand pounds worth of coins all in one hunt. Right, thanks very much for watching. Thanks to Trev, thanks Total Coins, and we'll see you in the next episode. After we wash our hands, I think. I know. Oh, lady, I'm a bit disappointed. I was expecting, I was expecting oh, like. You've got a. I mean, I can't argue with the spread. No. It's got some lovely variety. coins, but I was, I was expecting so much more. I just thought it was going to be absolutely full of maybe centenaries. Say Trevor was getting. I mean, Christopher's had maybe hundreds and hundreds though. of maybe pounds worth. Maybe pushed them out, and that's it now. We've yeah, missed maybe. the boat. Missed the boat or the ship. Oh. That's it. Wait. No flagger <laughs> either. I thought surely this is the chance of a flagger. Oh, I think Christopher's got them all. Yeah, he must have. Oh well, never mind. So yeah, should go and wash out, wash our hands. Yeah. I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet. Right. Well, have a think while you wash your hands. Right. Okay.